Hello, my name is Adeyemi for Clueless Junkie. In this video, I'll be showing you how to calculate the reinforcement needed for a slap. At the end of this video, you should be able to do a quick calculation of the cost and quantity of reinforcement needed for a slap. If you're new to this channel, do not hesitate to subscribe, join. I'll be happy to have you as a member of this channel. For the slab rebars, the point here is to create mesh for the areas that have a floor. This part, we're going to do a main bars which looks about 8 meter for each length of the main rebars. So we'll specify 8 meter for the main bars and there is about 11 units of that. So we need 11 length of 12 meter rods and there's going to be about 11 or 4 meter off cuts from that and then for the other side that is about 4.196 meter we're needing 6 units of that so 3 length of 12 meter rod should suffice for that and then for the distribution bars which are the horizontal ones that go on top of the main bars and uh, that individual length of that is about 8 meter and uh, we'll specify that and then the number of that distribution bar in that region is uh, 5 units so we need 5 length of 12 meter rods and we'll get 4 meter of cuts 5 of that so on the remainder of there we have a uh, distribution bars of 4 meter length and uh, remember the off cuts we've been having from the other main bars up there we need 17 units of that use off cuts from above we use 4 meter of cuts from above and uh, if it's not enough we complete the off cuts from the staircase rebars so the main bars top mesh to complete the top mesh of this region that 2 meter bars there is about 6 of that so we'll do, we'll do 2 meter multiplied by 6 that's 12 meter rod so one length of 12 meter rod will suffice for that to complete the top mesh of that area so the next one to complete the top mesh of that we need 0.9 meter bars and there, there's five units of that so 0.9 meter multiplied by five that's 4.5 meter for, so finally for this on the side we will be needing a 2.04 meter bar to complete the top mesh of that region so we'll do 2.04 multiplied by 5 so that's 10.2 meter if we add 4.5 meter to 10.2 meter that gives 14.7 meter and if we divide 14.7 meter by an average rod length that gives a 1.225 units so that's roughly three lengths of 12 meter rod to complete the top mesh if you wonder why this area was introduced is to provide a sort of a starter for the next flight of staircase if there be another staircase leading to the other floor so for the slab rebar, the white of iron that will be needed is uh, 11 plus 3 plus that. So we'll add those values up and then specify it on the main list. For the white of iron, we'll be needing 19 lengths. And then for the white end, 3 lengths. Then specify the off cuts available on ground so we can reference that for other parts of reinforcement needed. So if you've come this far, I hope you got something meaningful from this. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe and uh, do not hesitate to leave a comment, leave a like and join if possible. I'll be happy to have you as a member of this channel. Catch you on the next one.